Now we come to our second example. It says a bimetallic strip is made out of copper and aluminum and the width of the copper is 0.3 millimeters and the width of the aluminum is 0.2 millimeters and the initial length of both is 28.2 centimeters, right? So let's say we heat up this bimetallic strip. What's going to happen is that the strip is going to curve, right? So it says what is the angular arc made by the curvature of the strip, right? Like this, right? So it's going to curve. Why is that? Well, because the uh, aluminum is going to expand quicker and its final length is going to be larger than the initial length, right? And then the copper is going to expand less. This is how uh, thermo thermostats work, is that they have a bimetallic strip in there and when the temperature in the room gets hot or cold, they start curving in or out and then they trigger the AC or the heater, right? So then the way that we set up the problem is that we have the uh, Aluminum is going to be the one that stretches more. So we have the aluminum is like this. And then the copper is going to be stretching less. So it's like this. Right? And then it's going to make an arc. And then this is theta. Right? So we can call the distance from the middle of this, the copper, from the middle of this to here, the radius r of the arc, right? I'm going to assume that the expansion of the width, even though the widths of the, uh, the strips also expand, but I'm going to assume that the expansion of the width is much more negligible than the expansion of the lengths, right? So ignore the expansion of the widths. It's very, very small because the width is in millimeters and the length is in centimeters and it's much, much smaller. So ignore the expansion of the width. So the, the distance from here to here is R and then the distance from the center of the aluminum strip to the to the center of the arc is going to be what r plus it's going to be the distance from here to here half the width of the copper right plus the half the width of the copper plus half the width of the aluminum over two right from here all the way to here from here to here so you're taking half the width of the copper plus half the width of the aluminum right so then since these two are the same arc length, they subtend the same angle, right? So we can say the final length of the copper, L final of the copper, is going to be equal to the radius R times theta, right? And then the final uh, length of the aluminum, right, which is the, uh, the top one, is going to be R. So then what we can do is distribute this in, L final aluminum is equal to R times theta, plus, then you have your uh, W copper plus W aluminum divided by 2 times theta. And then R final is just going to be the length final of the copper, right? Length final of the copper. Right. right? So then what's going to happen? The L initial aluminum and the L initial copper are actually the same, right? And then we can combine this. So we get um, alpha aluminum, then I'm going to subtract alpha copper from there. Then you have L initial, since the L initial is the same, we can just write it as L initial, delta T. That's the subtended angle made by the strip, right? And then if I want to change that to uh, degrees, I say pi rads is equal to 180 degrees. So multiply this number by 180, divided by pi, and I get... 11.8 degrees. So that's a pretty substantial uh, angle, right? Now, the problem could also ask us, what should the final temperature be so that the whole strip makes a circle like this, right? We could actually do it so that it curves up and makes a complete circle. So then we would solve for delta T, right? Delta T would be here. And then we would put here for the uh, angle, we would put 2 pi radians, right? So now we would solve for the delta T, and then that would tell us uh, how much we would have to heat it up to make a complete circle. So let's see what we get there. So you can see there from there that the, the, the temperature would have to increase quite a bit 
795.7 Celsius for it to curve up. But that, that's actually not that hard because metals heat up very quickly. Of course, uh, they might melt or deform before doing that, but uh, they can heat up very quickly and they can make a complete circle very easily, right? So uh, you can see here how to do something like that. Depending on what uh, radians you need, you can co calculate the change in temperature. And if the change in temperature is given, you can calculate what the subtendon angle by that uh, metallic strip is, okay? Thank you very much.